lots of water coming down the hill to Schwedenkreuzer here. You might lose grip, so be smooth. On the braking, off the braking zone. Oh, we cannot break straight. Sketchy plates in the wet and everything. <laughs> Still a one piece. All is good. Um, yeah, that, I would say that was quite exciting. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a very wet Nurburgring pouring down rains happening right now at Bilstein Experience Day. And uh, yeah, I went out with the Gapt GR86. By the way, register on Gap that online. If you want to win this car, we're going to be giving away this car. Uh, I went out on Nankang Air once. Very good tire for the drive, but as you can see, it has a very little uh, profile. So in the wet, it's um, yeah, it's quite challenging, especially when you have lots of standing water. Uh, so the purpose of the video was to shoot how to drive in the wet. Um, you will hear everything in the video, but it got a bit more exciting than I wanted to, that you have seen already probably in the intro shot. Anyway, enjoy the how to drive and how not to drive in the wet video uh, with the Gapt GR86. We are right now at the Bilstein Experience track day. You can see our race car over here. Yes. And it was pouring down rain. There's lots of standing water, so it's a perfect opportunity to give you a bit of insights of uh, how to drive the track in the wet. Why is it so special? Well, obviously it's wet, so you have less grip, but the Nebuchadnezzar Nordschleife is the most busy track in the world. You have here everyday uh, track cars driving, industry pool cars, race cars, and they leave a layer of rubber on the dry days, and therefore uh, it becomes like ice in the wet days. So there's a lots of guessing game you need to play because you need to figure out where you need to stay off the line, where you need to stay off. No marshals, okay, they want to stay dry where you want to stay off the line to avoid the rubber or where you also need to stay off the standing water. I'm going to leave the traction control on because we have Nanking Air 1 tires which are, well, quite challenging to drive in the wet. It's pretty much almost a full slick at the size of it. But yeah, let's keep going. So here, the most important thing, I would say for wet driving, you need to have slow feet and fast hands. Watch out here for standing water. We're going here in a straight line as possible. Don't do any direction changes. There was a puddle that would unsettle the car, as you can see. Here again, a puddle, braking gently, watching out against standing water and staying on the outside. The first corner that indicates that you should really be on the outside to avoid all the rubber from the dry days. Crossing back to the outside here, and we can have here this nice new curb stone that we can use has a great cheat code, so to say. Okay, watch out here for standing water through Sabine Schmidt's curve. Eh? Because you go on the braking, the car unsettles. Watch out for puddles. You can see sort of rivers flowing down uh, in the corner entry. Again here, a bit of a puddle standing water. With rain slicks, rain tires is of course not a much of an issue. But also in racing, you might encounter a scenario that you're on full slicks and start pouring down rain. And then you need to be very cautious. So we stayed completely on the outside here through Hudsonbach. Some bumps here that might unsettle the car. We're staying here in the middle for the wet braking. And even that does not have much grip. We can take the curb here because it offers a bit of grip. But watch out for coming down because there was a puddle. And you can slide up here. Staying out because you see a bit of banking. That makes the water flow off. Here, staying on the outside completely and watch out when you start crossing the dry line again over here because that might unsettle the car. Staying off the braking zone, going straight to the outside, 
crossing over the track again to avoid the dry line and can go quite early on the gas here but watch out for standing water here that comes down the bridge as you can see we're going straight but the car has actually very little grip especially with all the bumps one more puddle okay staying off the line through here ah, the car wants to go sideways going straight to avoid the rubber also here crossing it being a bit off the line a bit of grip here and here you have lots of standing water a lots of standing water that makes the car slide it's very hard to see through the camera maybe i should have done a pov but uh, maybe for another time lots of water coming down the hill to schwedenkreuz so here you might lose grip so be smooth on the braking off the braking zone oh we cannot brake straight And there we go so that was a good example how you can have suddenly absolutely zero grip anyway and that's also good why the traction control stayed on so continuing with our lap watching out for the puddles here another thing you have here a bump so watch out for the bump here it might unsettle the car a lot and in the bottom, of course, of Foxhall, you can have some standing water, so be gentle by going through there. Make sure the car is a bit under load, on the brakes, stay off the curb, more to the outside, going off the dry braking zone, although you have a puddle here, and then crossing over again here to the outside. All right, staying out, 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 crossing over again to the outside where the grip is, and watching out with throttle application because we go on the gas you probably see here the car might lose traction yeah over here because of the puddles so going straight 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 watch out on the braking lots of standing water standing water standing water going through the outside watching out avoiding the dry line braking and then here we are off the banking so we should have a bit more grip on the outside but watch out for coming here a puddle and crossing over also going into a puddle and then we go here watch out for coming down because the gravity will work against you so with all the water streaming downhill together with you be very cautious through here one more river staying on the outside here and staying out Watching out here that you don't do any trail braking because that can really unsettle the car already. Yeah, you can see it slightly. I'm going through the outside. It stopped raining here, so that's nice. Staying in the middle. Also, the car is looking for grip even under braking, turning in into a puddle. Not nice. Going through the outside. Watching out with releasing the clutch. Going to the outside, avoiding the puddles and gently on the gas. Very smooth, very smooth. Short shifting. All right, on the brakes gently. Here's a river crossing, so it might unsettle the car. Yep, river always here. And going to the outside, going out, 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 out. Another river flowing downhill here and staying out watch out with crossing the dry line in the wet here you can unsettle the car lose grip and end up in the right side of the barrier all right approaching allow the links puddle watching out staying out on the outside be smooth and here start braking soon also on the outside and you're going towards the inside of the corner and you stay in the inside is extremely slippery you really want to avoid that and then i like to transition here to the right side to avoid the dry line and go a bit sooner on the gas and then again avoid the dry line again lots of standing water through here so gently through here on a short shift as well yeah the car went a bit so staying on the outside 
Change your bottles. Taking the inside line here because the new tarmac within two or three years is going to be as slippy as the rest. Lots of water coming down to the right side, so we're staying on the left where there's a bit more grip. But don't get too excited. So be smooth through the outside bottle. Yeah. And then going down. So staying on the outside. And take a bit of the curve. Alright, here on the left side you have a tree that covers the track a bit so it's a bit drier. Make sure to cross back over again to the right. Then breaking off the line to the outside. And also here staying out and again watching out with throttle application because here you're gonna cross the dry line and you might spin out here. Alright. Here another bump that might unsettle the car. Staying underneath the tree on the braking. Going into the carousel very easy. The traction control will not like that. And then stay out longer. Staying out. So the water flows downhill here from the highest point. A river here. But we crossed it, we're good. Staying out, out, out. Oh, don't take the cross. Gently with direction changes here. Also here, stay a bit more on the outside. Watch out for the banking change. Breaking off the dry line. Watch out for the puddle here. All right. Staying on the outside. Break on the outside. Going out, but there's also water off banking. Uh, also here, water on the right side. So going off the line to the outside, here should be better. Breaking off the line through here and going to the outside. It's a very sketchy one. You could optionally take the curbs, but be gentle. Breaking off the line, I hate this corner because you lose lots of grip and you want to ride the wall very closely, but it's very unpleasant. Breaking off the dry line, watch out for the puddle. The car will unsettle. Use the graffiti as your reference points. Cross over away from the dry line. Break straight, puddle, and going here again. On the outside, there's a lot more grip than it may seem. Here's tricky. We're breaking off the line, but we're in a puddle. So, yeah, there is no really good, good solution. I don't know what would be better. Watch out for coming down the curb because you will unsettle the car and also you will also be crossing the dry line. Staying on the outside. Out, out, out. Watch out for puddle. And middle. Break off the dry line. Going to the outside. Don't carry too much speed because you really need to be smooth through here. Okay, going straight to the outside. And staying longer out, you can take the curb. Then staying longer to the outside. Watch out for water underneath. Staying out, watch out on the braking, don't break too much. Also water on the outside. Hug the curb. Staying left. Now we can go gently again. On the brakes, car losing grip, staying on the outside for more grip. You can see the skies are getting a bit more blue, so hopefully we'll get more dry laps in. Although I'm enjoying this. Out, out, out. Gently with accelerating through here. On the brakes, off the dry line and stay on the top because that's where you have a bit more grip. Just watching out and coming off. Standing water on the right, here a bit more grip, so we go to here, to break off the line, going to the outside, very unpleasant, very, very unpleasant, watch out, we're crossing the dry line here, going to the outside, and watching out one more time for crossing the dry line, better be safe on the right side, 
made it. Pretty much. So, hopefully it's going to dry out. And I hope you enjoyed this mini guide on the wet. And you can see how how slippy it is. That you even that we even went opposite lock with traction control fully on. So don't be a hero. Leave it on. It's there for a reason. Especially in these days, there's nothing to prove. Because why should you satisfy some 14 year olds on the internet? That. Uh, yeah, that makes no sense, right? Good! Uh, thanks for watching, and see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!